A community rallies around a former police officer who was fired after coming forward with his mental health struggles triggered by trauma on the job. And tonight, for the first time, we're actually hearing from that officer. Fox 2's Dave Spencer joins us live from a fundraiser helped to get him the help he needs. And Dave, how's he doing first off? Yeah, he's he's in great spirits considering everything he went through rope. Uh, yeah, ever since he got lost his job was fired from the Chesterfield Police Department. The community has been fighting to get him the help he needs, the mental help he needs. And that fight continued at a fundraiser tonight where in person he got to say thank you to each and every one involved. It's awesome to see the support of the community. Like I swore an oath to protect this community. So like you don't realize how many people are there for you at the end of the day. Walking into the Arctic Circle Brewing Company, Joshua Baker didn't know what to expect. You know, I wasn't sure how many people would show up, but there's a lot of people here. A lot of people here in support of him. Uh, Officer Baker has, uh, I think, been treated very cruelly and unfairly uh, by the majority of our township board. And there are those of us that just think he's an absolute hero. Last year, Officer Baker was traumatized during his rescue of a seven-year-old girl nearly killed after she was struck by a truck. He then suffered in silence. I went six months without coming forward because I was afraid that people would judge me. When he did go to the department telling them about his PTSD, he says he told them he was having trouble sleeping and used marijuana gummies to try and get some rest. Per this department letter, he was subjected to a drug test and was fired. When you're in it, you yeah. don't believe it, but it does get better and you do have to talk to somebody, even though it didn't really work out great for me when I came yeah. forward. Uh, you do have to do that anyway, and I'm so glad that I did because I'm in a much better place now. In a much better place, he says, mentally, but not financially, which brings us to this fundraising event Monday night. Without insurance to get the proper treatment that he needs, um, we came together and uh, Trustee Anderson and I organized the community and we came out to just show him love and support. It's just going to help me pay my bills, continue to live in my home, and get the care that I need. And he says the care he's getting through therapy is already paying off. So much so, he is eager to get back to work and help others. That is my goal, is the next guy in line who goes through something and someone out there is about to or is currently going through it. Like, I just want things to be better, easier, and softer for them. Josh Baker is a warrior. I think when he comes back, and he will come back, uh, he'll be an outspoken advocate for mental health for his uh, fellow officers. And you heard it there. Uh, Josh Baker fully intends to try and get his job back here at the Chesterfield Township Police Department. He says he swore an oath to serve and protect this community, and that was only reinforced by what happened here tonight. Live in Chesterfield Township, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dave, after everything that happened, he wants his job back at the Chesterfield Police Department, or is he going to seek uh, working possibly for another department? No, he says this is the community and, and what he's seen ever since he was terminated, uh, the, the support, the outpouring of love and support from, from not only those people, but some of the people that are, are making the decisions, the trustees. He said there's a few people that he needs to win over, but he's about 99% cross that finish line. Of course, he can't reveal all that's going on behind the scenes, but he's fully uh, intent on getting that job back and fully confident that that will happen soon.